more and more streaming decks, streamers and networked audio adapters become room ready. But that doesn't mean that when you buy one like the PS Audio Direct Stream DAC or the Blue Sound Note 2, you also get room. The Rune Music Library and Music Player has been reviewed before twice, version 1.2 and 1.3, so I'm not going to review it here again. However, the concept appears to be so new to many that misconceptions go around. Let me explain how Rune and Rune Essentials, the light version, are set up. The heart of the system is called Rune Server. This has to run on a computer that uses a solid state drive, SSD for short, as a system drive. That can be a computer using Windows, Mac OS or Linux as an operating system. A version for selected high-end QNAP and Synology NAS systems is also available. They, by the way, are essentially scaled down Linux computers too. The ELEC Discovery is also a small Linux computer that also runs the OS on an SSD-like drive. The server software is a super fast database that holds all the metadata on the audio tracks stored elsewhere on the computer, on an external drive or on a network share on another computer or NAS. And it is a music traffic controller that sends out music to designated zones, endpoints in RuneLingo. The remote software is what you normally see and use to control Rune. On Windows and Mac OS computers, this controller can run on the same computer as the core, but also on another computer, tablet or smartphone. On Linux computers and thus on the ELEC Discovery and QNAP and Synology NASes, it can only run on another computer, tablet or smartphone. Several remote apps can run at the same time, for instance on a computer and on a tablet. They can control the same or different endpoints. So if the Rune server runs on a computer in the attic, you can work on making a playlist and other maintenance tasks on the computer in the study while playing music there. At the same time, your partner can play music also coming from the computer in the attic on the stereo in the living, using the tablet as a controller. Your son and daughter both can play their music from the Rune server on their computer. All music requests and the corrections made by you are also handled by the Rune server in the attic. In a multi-Rune system, places where music can be played back are called zones. Rune calls them endpoints and can address them using several protocols. The most advanced is their own Rune Advanced Audio Transport, RAD for short. Devices that understand the RAD protocol are called Rune Ready. They are equipped to receive music from the Rune server using the RAD protocol. This is for instance the case with the Aurelic, Blue Sound, DCS, NAD, PS Audio, SOTM, Sonora and T plus A products. So when you buy a Blue Sound Note 2, you don't get Rune, but you do get a device that accepts music according to the RAD protocol. Rune is also able to talk to endpoints that have their own protocol, like Meridian Sulus, Squeezebox, Apple Airplay and Sonos. The latter two protocols are limited to 48 kHz. Although Rune can work with these protocols, they are not considered to be Rune ready. That is only limited to devices that ad adhere to the RAD protocol. Computers that run the server or remote software can also be used as an endpoint. For computers that do not run the server or remote software, a small program called Rune Bridge can be installed to use it as an endpoint. System demands for Rune Bridge computers are modest. For instance, a Raspberry Pi 2B can already do the job. So, to run Rune, you will need a license from Rune costing 120 euros per year or 500 euros for a lifetime subscription. This license is used to run Rune Server on a computer or NAS. The only exception is the ELEC Discovery that runs a light version of Rune called Rune Essentials under a lifetime subscription. The subscription is coupled to the ELEC Discovery hardware. See my reviews for details and differences with the full version. 
Rune and Rune Essentials are controlled using a computer, tablet or smartphone. There are system requirements, please see the link in the show notes. On Windows and Mac OS computers you can control Rune on the computer the server is running on. In all other cases you need to use another Windows or Mac OS computer, a tablet or a smartphone. Expect more and more Rune ready endpoints to hit the market and please do realize they all need a Rune or Rune Essentials license to be used. Whenever interesting new Rune ready endpoints become available I will try to review them. So if you want to stay informed subscribe to this channel, my newsletter or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. See the show notes for the links. If you have a question Post it below this video, but please don't ask me for buying advice. See my about questions video to find out why. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon and see super exclusive videos too. See the link in the show notes. And don't forget to tell your friends on the web about this channel. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.